it happens to all of us. It's Wednesday, kids are at practice or whatever, and you get back home, you're like, oh man, I forgot to plan dinner. I'm gonna show you guys a beef and broccoli on the cheap, quick. I'm hoping you have most of these things in your cupboard already. If not, it's probably only a few extra things. Let me show you how to make beef and broccoli on the cheap. I'm gonna start with my vegetables. I've got some sweet yellow onion. More often than not, I'm using yellow onion. I, I just, the flavor of it is fantastic. The aroma of it is wonderful. Not that onion, uh, other onions aren't good. Say that five times real fast, CJ. Not that other onions aren't great. I just think these are nice. I do wanna cut them thin and bite size. Uh, I'm gonna hit the griddle, we're on like medium, medium-ish heat, uh, a bit of oil and add the onions. Uh, I've also got some broccoli. These are broccoli florets. Uh, I usually have a bag of these in my fridge. And I try to get rid of them before they go bad, uh, right onto the griddle with a bit of oil as well. And sesame oil, don't forget the sesame oil. I'm taking a note from CJ Frazier. Uh, I didn't have these, but they were left over from when he was cooking here the other day. I've got some pre-cooked rice. Okay. Throw that down on the griddle with a bit of water just to steam it up. Uh, cover that with a dome. You know what, add a bit of soy sauce. Let's go ahead and add some soy now. It's gonna get kind of crispy on the bottom as this cooks. I'll cover that with the dome and you're off to the races. Once the onions look gorgeous, like slightly caramelized, starting to get translucent, not fully cooked by any means, but getting there. Uh, same thing with the broccoli. Actually, you know, here's a fun trick. I don't want my broccoli too al dente. Uh, you can toss those around or just scoot them over underneath the dome so it can steam a little bit. Uh, finish cooking and be nice and perfect to the tooth, which is what al dente means, CJ, to the tooth. Yes, it does. Now we're gonna add our ground beef. Now usually I have this in the freezer, so just lay this out in the morning if you know you wanna make this at night. Uh, pop that right down and chop it into the onions and let that start cooking. We're gonna add the flavor to this in just a bit with our sauce. I'm gonna be using garlic paste later, but for the beef, I do want a bit of minced garlic. The minced garlic gives us a different bite than garlic powder or even the garlic puree. So I wanna add that to the beef and we'll chop it in later. Let it just kinda of marinate in that beef. Sauce is, it might seem complicated, but it's very simple, not too many ingredients. We're gonna start with a bit of honey. Um, the honey's gonna give us that sweetness which plays off of the beef. We've got some rice wine vinegar. Uh, we've got some sriracha. So now we're playing with the sweet heat acidity. Uh, we've got some soy sauce. We've also got some sesame oil. Right, so all these things together are wonderful, but we're gonna go even one step further. I'm gonna go in with a bit of ginger paste and garlic paste. Now this is a very versatile sauce. You could use this on anything. Um, if you have chicken or shrimp or anything else you wanna use, this is a really fun one to use as a glaze to finish cooking. Uh, so I'm using half of that glaze. We'll toss it while the other half in just a bit. Garnish is very simple. I'm a fan of the heat. I mean, I've got sriracha in there, so I've already got some heat going on. I'm gonna use uh, some chili oil at the end too. Uh, let's do some red chilies, nice thin slices, and some green onion. This is gonna give us both color and flavor. Once that beef is looking gorgeous, you'll notice it start to crisp up a little bit. That's the honey and the soy starting to caramelize into the beef and onions. Let's go ahead and add the other half of our glaze and give it a toss. Let's give it maybe two more minutes or so. I mean, from start to finish, this is a 10 minute cook. This is a very, very quick cook and you'll notice all the aromas really coming up off the griddle. Uh, I think we're, we're ready to plate. Let's put this thing together. Uh, let's go ahead and add some of our rice to the bottom and some of our broccoli. Again, very simple, right? This is beef and broccoli. Like this is one of those Wednesday night meals that you don't have to be intimidated. You don't have to be like, oh, what am I gonna do? Hopefully, like I said in the beginning, you have most of this in your pantry already, so this should be a really quick and easy thing to put together. Uh, I like to garnish with a bit of the sriracha mayo as well. And if you want to, uh, Momofuku makes a really great chili crunch or use any chili oil that you like. I like to put that over the broccoli just because I'm a sucker for the heat. But that's it, that's, that's how you do it on a Wednesday night. Let's give this a try. You could use chopsticks if you wanna go super pro, but it's Wednesday. Oh man, it's so good. The honey grabs everything. Let's check out this broccoli. Oh, there you go. I don't know if you can tell, Ethan, I'm gonna cut it on the cutting board. Like that's perfectly cooked broccoli. Nobody wants overcooked broccoli. It's awful. That's money. It's also hot. <laughs> Pretty hot. I'm a fan of that. I like the heat. If you don't, Cut some of that out. You know, you don't have to have the red chilies or the chili oil. Man, that crunch is so good. This stuff is good. There you go. Just because it's Wednesday, just because you're on a budget, doesn't mean you can't have really fantastic, delicious food. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, what do you guys want to see in the future? You guys want to see more cheap eats? I know CJ likes them. What's that mean? It's a compliment. Uh. Mostly. Uh, let me know uh, down below. What would you like to see me make in future episodes? 
This is Cook, Eat, Repeat, where we like to help you become a better cook one recipe at a time. I'm your host, Chef Nathan Lippy, and I'll see you all in the next recipe video. Next, next you know what I meant. See you.